Thank you very much, Mr. Agnew. Thank you very much. Three questions. Uh, do the speakers feel that dumping waste fish at the bottom of the sea is very wasteful when it could be ground up into fish meal for animal rations? This could be done really very easily. Do the speakers feel that incinerating meat and bone meal or abattoir waste is a very poor way of uh, using it uh, when it could be used as fertilizer? And do the speakers feel that GM technology could help production costs come down? Thank you. We talked about using fish meal, um, about excess production and wastage. That figure of 70% from the FAO is official to the extent that it is presented on their website. And it's official because it's quoted by FAO staff but it doesn't really mean much on its own. I think the point is that the less you waste, the less you'll need actually to increase uh, production. So if you can use all the various levers uh, to best effect, that's the way to move forward. There are solutions um, in terms of where we would like the world to be, but also we look at possibilities in order to reduce waste, for example. We know that's very difficult, those measures, to put them into practice. And there are some sacrifices that Europeans don't really want to make. Let me give you an example of this from the uh, UK. There is significant effort being made there to reduce uh, food wastage. And we know that over the last two years, the wastage has gone down by 10%, more or less. So that's a success. But if you look where that reduction comes from, there is effort being made by the public and individual efforts when it comes to educating children, for example. But most of it comes from the economic crisis and the fact that people are earning less. So we have to be quite modest in terms of our ambitions. And... Uh, we have to look at all of the possible parameters involved.